Is it okay to use cardboard as a mulch in landscaping? Or what, when is it okay to use cardboard and when is it not okay to use cardboard? This is a surprisingly controversial topic. Uh, people get really fired up discussing this, but we have learned a lot about cardboard, using cardboard as mulch in the landscape. And uh, I'm going to provide a little bit of clarity today because once you start to learn a little bit more, it actually makes a lot of sense. My name is Eve Hanlon. I'm a horticulturist, I'm a landscape designer, and welcome to Garden Project Academy. Today, uh, I'm working more on the video series about mulch that I wish I had when I first started gardening. It would have saved me so much time, and I hope it saves you some time as well. The first video I made covered mulch basics, like uh, how deep to mulch, mulch maintenance. Next video I made covered the different mulch materials, some of the good ones, some of the bad ones, pros and cons. Uh, there's so many options out there. That video did not cover all of them, but it covered a lot, and I hope it's helpful for you. I will link to those in the description below this video if you want to check them out. There are some really interesting considerations when it comes to using cardboard or similarly multiple layers of newspaper, for example, underneath mulch and the landscape. I want to note here at the beginning of this video that I am not a researcher. This is not my research. I'm a landscape designer. I'm a horticulturist. I am also a nerd. I love learning about this stuff. Mulch is a very boring topic, but it can get surprisingly interesting as you learn more. I'm always learning more. I'm always changing my opinions, uh, my best practices, and I encourage you to learn more too. So I'm just sharing some of the things that I've learned, uh, and I will link to other resources in the description below. So today I'm talking about using cardboard underneath mulch. Uh, you know, arborist chip mulch would be the ideal or a similar woody organic mulch material. The first important thing that you need to know about using cardboard as mulch in the landscape is that research has shown cardboard to cut off some of the gas exchange or the air exchange to and from the soil. That's just a fact at this point. There is evidence that this occurs and logically this impedes natural processes, right? So this is a problem for plants because plant roots need oxygen for respiration. Plants and soil life in general just need gases to pass to and from the soil. This is a natural process process. And of course water is also important, so cardboard can impede water flow to the soil, especially when it dries out. It becomes hydrophobic. Water does leak through it very slowly once it, you know, absorbs some water uh, or around, you know, the pieces through the cracks. Uh, and as the cardboard decompose decomposes, it becomes less of an issue. But in general, it does have an effect on water flow that can lead to water going in weird directions. Whereas if you use straight arborist chip mulch, this creates a nice, slow, even distribution of water flow. Does it cut off all of the water flow? No. Does it cut off all of the gas exchange? No, but it does have a negative effect on plants and soil life. A common objection at this point is that, well, I have used cardboard as a mulch around my plants for years and my plants are doing just fine. And I can relate to this. I have also done this. Even though plants will probably be fine if you use cardboard under your mulch, it doesn't help them. Uh, there is evidence to show that this method is harder on plants than not using cardboard because it cuts off some of the air and water flow. Simple as that. Plants with just mulch and no cardboard or no landscape fabric, interestingly, will do better. I like to say that the cardboard essentially just creates more stress for them. Landscape fabric creates more stress for them. We want to give our plants the best possible chance of success, so I, I do not use cardboard or landscape fabric underneath uh, the mulch around my plants, especially considering that if you get rid of the weeds initially, mulching just a few inches deep with a good organic mulch material is perfectly effective at that point, and then the landscape fabric or the cardboard adds no additional weed benefits uh, at that point and cuts off some of the water flow and the gas exchange. And exceptions might be super invasive weed species, arguably. They, you know, they may need some special attention or care, but again, if you get rid of the weeds initially, you don't need the cardboard or the landscape fabric. And you can see how this is so controversial, right? A lot of times people use landscape fabric for that additional benefit, but there, there isn't one. And uh, if you have additional questions about this, check out the resources below this video. Again, I don't do the research, but there are some really cool people out there who have figured this out and provide tons of resources and answers to questions. So go, go learn more from them below, but now you know. In a lot of cases, you don't need this stuff around your plants in your garden. Now, you'll notice, though, that I mentioned that you have to get rid of the weeds initially, right? We know that cardboard smothers. Uh, so what if you're trying to kill plants like weeds? What's cool about cardboard is that it decomposes. It goes away. Landscape fabric does not. So this stuff smothers. Let's consider using cardboard under a mulch material like wood chips as a method, as a strategy in the right context for smothering things out. So for example, I have used cardboard under mulch when intentionally smothering out grass or lawns to turn it into a garden. 
or if I neglected a garden area, I will have used this method as well to turn a garden back into a garden again uh, and, you know, re-smothering these weeds. I do not use cardboard under mulch in the landscape as a general mulching practice, never around plants in general, but instead I use it as a no-till strategy for going from no garden to garden. Now this is where it gets even more interesting. Research shows that the better similar way to smother out weeds in lawn is to use deep woody mulch like arborist chips and no cardboard. But we're talking deep, right? Like eight inches deep or more. Uh, I've read eight to 12 inches. It can kind of depend on what you're trying to smother, how aggressive the weeds are, your climate might have an effect, but I've read eight to 12 inches uh, though depending. And whatever you do, it can really help to cut the weeds or the grass way down first, like destroy them with a weed eater, whether you're using cardboard or just mulch or whatever you do. Now is also a, as good a time as any to mention that cardboard creates a potential environment for insect pests like termites, for example, who definitely like to hang out in cardboard, not, not mulch so much. They do like that cardboard though. So this is a better way. A deep application of arborist chip mulch will settle down and decompose and feed the soil. No cardboard needed. None of those cardboard downsides. But let's go back again. What if you can't get your hands on that much mulch? If you just want to smother, right? Yes, you can use cardboard or many layers of newspaper under a few inches of mulch. Again, just not around plants that you're trying to help grow. It's not the best method because we have these downsides, but maybe it's practical if it's all you've got. If you only have access to a couple inches of mulch, then adding that cardboard will help to smother out whatever you're trying to smother out. Just remember that termite risk. And note that it is important that the cardboard stay pretty consistently moist, and in a handful of months, that cardboard will completely decompose. It'll be gone. The soil life will eat it away. The exact amount of time that this takes, uh, you know, it takes for it to decompose may vary. It depends on where you live and the conditions and how often you water it, what you, materials you use, so, so on. The list goes on and on. So many variables. Just wait until the weeds in the lawn are completely dead and the cardboard is gone before planting. I know some people who do this in the fall and plant in the spring, for example. I know, uh, also know some people who poke holes in the cardboard with a pitchfork or a rake. Once it's wet, it's actually pretty easy to do this. This will just let in a little bit more air and water for soil life. It's kind of like a balance in between. And I don't know how the research applies to this if research has been done on this kind of in-between method. But I also want to say don't get too excited. If you poke too many holes in it, then you're starting to help out the weeds that you're smothering and you go too far the other way. But I, I know some people who do this as sort of a balance. In my yard, I personally have never used more than one layer of cardboard and about three, four inches of mulch and it smothers out most of the weeds, most of the lawn. With a few exceptions, there are a few things that might pop up, but it works really well for me. I've also gone from lawn to garden by putting down one layer of cardboard, of about two inches of a compost or of some sort of soil mix, and then about three inches of mulch, a woody organic mulch material like arborist chips on top of that. That has also worked great for me. Note that this is not research. This is just me messing around. Is it the best method? Pro probably not, but it did create a nice garden. And consider also once you've, you know, if you're doing combinations of materials, once you've hit a certain depth, you probably don't need that cardboard anymore, right? So what is that depth exactly? Again, research has shown eight inches of arborist chips, and I don't personally know how many combinations of materials have been researched and in what climates and all the variables, but just consider that if you go deep enough, you're layering things to a certain, at a certain point, it's just going to be deep enough to smother out the grass or the weeds anyway without the cardboard, right? So why add the cardboard? Why? have the downsides of that cardboard if, if you're going deep enough. So just consider doing your own experiments in your yard or digging deeper into the research that's out there. At this point, you might be wondering about the different mulch material options. What about bark? What wood chips are best? What are arborist chips? I'll link to uh, my other video in the corner of this video right now, as well as in the description below. You can go there and learn more about the pros and cons of different mulch materials. Note that I like to peel the tape off of the cardboard before I use it as mulch because it takes many, many, many years for it to decompose. And while this isn't that big of a deal if it's in your soil, right? I, I, I just personally dislike finding tape all the time uh, after the cardboard's gone. I, I think it's kind of gross. So I do make time to pick it all off. But a pro tip, when the cardboard gets really wet, like if you leave it out in the rain for a few days, you soak it with the hose, the tape comes off really easily. And it's still annoying. It still takes a bit of effort, but I, I think it's worth it. Of course, cardboard smothers, and you're taking that termite risk. 
you cut off a bit of air and water and it's understandably going to cause some level of stress to all bajillion of those amazing little microscopic soil creatures uh, that make your soil healthy, some more than others. Maybe some will be impacted, not be impacted at all, maybe it'll kill others. But if you think about it, many common methods of starting a garden are going to be harmful to soil life, like tilling, for example. Although personally, I believe that tilling sometimes is just realistic, at least to start. If you have super compacted soil, you need to fix the soil quickly. Uh, not technically the best thing to do, but sometimes it is practical. But still, if you can't get your hands on enough mulch, even though there are downsides to this, it, it is an option. I, I like to believe that using a less than ideal method to create a beneficial garden bed that wouldn't have otherwise existed is, is just going to make the world a better place in the long run. But again, don't use cardboard as a general routine mulching practice around plants. There's other ideal mulching methods and you can check out my other videos on that. I would love to hear uh, your tips and your experiences and your favorite resources regarding uh, using cardboard as, as a mulch. I also highly encourage you to keep an eye on the new academic research that comes out as people are learning more about different uh, materials and methods and combinations of different variables. We have so much to learn. I am always learning more. There's really cool people figuring this stuff out. Please remember that as always, my videos, all of my videos are for informational and inspirational purposes only. I am not your landscape designer. You could live anywhere in the world. Best practices are different everywhere. It is always up to you to decide what is best for you and your yard. Thank you so much for watching and happy gardening.